All right, we're here at town office because we got to go find out about some property that we might metal detect. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. We got to We want to look at some property that we think might be town property because we want sure. we want to metal detect it. Okay. So probably center center lane. I can check for you and I can tell you if that lot yeah, or a, what is town There's a little property. schoolhouse down by the interstate. Center Lane, I think it's called. It's on Center Lane? Yep. Okay, so yeah, Center Lane, right. It's like if you're coming from this road, it's good, it would be on the right, on right before you get to the interstate. Okay, yep. yep, then I think you're right. Let's see here. Um, let's see if there's any town property on Center Lane. I mean, actually, I could just type in the town of that and I can tell you. Any property that's Yeah, I mean, if, if we could get like a yep. print out of that. Would sure. Be... Let's see here. Okay, so we want Etna Town of. So it looks like we have a few properties. So not these top ones, of course, right. but, um, and this is us right here. Yep. The town landing road, um, that's, you know, where the boat area is. And then these, so we have a Station Road one, Dunham Road, Lakins Road, and then this one. One, three, one, Station Road. That'd be the uh, little. I think we're, somebody said center. where like the train station used to yep. be or yep. something. Yep. Um, there's a piece of property on the Dunham Road. Uh, so that's right over here. With the I think that's buildings. off West Plymouth. Yeah. But hold yep. on a second. I think we have a better idea here. Maybe this might help you. Um, whoops, now I got this weird thing coming up. Okay, so let me get you the map. So you know where, you know where the town landing one is. Yeah. Okay, or the station road. Yep. So Dunham Road is map three. I can give you these copies of maps and I'll tell you which one it is. So map, and it's lot six. So map three, lot six. Anybody see it? <laughs> It's so tiny, I apologize. Yes. Oh, there it is, okay, yep. So it's right here. So this is the Dunham Road right here and it, it is right off the West Plymouth Road, okay? So that one is town property. And then Dixmont Road, we have one. And that is map six, lot 30-2. So 30, 30, 30, right here, this one is. And this is on Dixmont Road. So I'm not sure, um, but that's that one. Um, and then it looks like, okay, and then that's the cemetery, the stage road one. Um, must be, oh, it's that one, this, the little older cemetery that's right up here. Yeah, well, oh, this is the cemetery too, so you don't want this one. No. Nope. Yeah, we don't want um, to protect the cemetery. And then <laughs> I forget that we have a few cemeteries here, but let's see what this one is. What's 1060, yeah. Um, well. Let's see what the map and lot is on this one. Former Wachowski lot. Shadow Lane. Uh, right. Well, the mailing address would be here. So that, yep. Yeah, but let's see what the map eight, lot 36. Oh, see if we can kind of get an idea here. Um, Anybody see a three six? <laughs> That's 42, three six. Three six, okay. So here's, Oh, it must be right by the railroad then. Cause here's the main central railroad. Shadow Lane. Yep. Lakin's Road is right here. Where's the exit road? Or? So that's the weird part. It looks like it's part of Stetson, like it goes off into the Stetson map. So I'm not real sure where that is. And upon Town Landing Road, Lakin's Road. Probably the exit from the track. Yeah. It might be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Do we know who owns this? So I can check that center lane. Let's look for center lane because that's the one you were really inquiring about, right? right. Uh, yep, yeah, let's see who owns that one. There's a little schoolhouse, right? Yeah. So. The Winchesters. Um, um, sure ones. So let's see. So the Underhills are towards the end. So they're 239 and they're lot one. So I don't know which section it might be is it is it before do you know where the underhills are are they before them um i'm not sure i can show you google map of it, but it's a, it's a small little plot i'm pretty sure hmm. 
Okay, so let's see. So if we look at that road, and this is six dash one. Okay, so here, right here, is the Underhills. So let me check here. I should... All right, folks, so we got permission. We went to the town office. We figured out who owned the property. We stopped at their house. They were very nice people. They actually know my father and mother, so I didn't realize that, but um, they gave us permission to do this little schoolhouse. Um, I had to let the GoPro charge, because as you saw at the town office, it died. Um, but yeah, I've already done this side. I was metal taking up through here, and I just found a 1936 Mercury dime. So now I got the camera, so I'll make sure to get it all on video for you. But I found it right up here. Pull tab. All right. Pull tab. So that's the pull tab king today. That, but that Mercury dime makes me happy. And that is in supreme condition too. It's like really good condition. Yeah, super doesn't do bad. Sweet. All right, let's move on. All right, folks, we got an 82 right here. It's coming up solid. We're gonna dig it. See what we find. It's already starting out good. Found a bunch of nails and stuff like that. Is it in the hole? It says it's in the clump. Look at what we got. A nail! And it was coming up in 82. Huh. What was that? Well, you can't find mercury dimes and coins every time. Keep on digging. Well, look at this. Seth found a silver spoon from the Ming Dynasty. Yeah. <laughs> Stainless steel. Stainless steel. All right. Let's see what, what's their name say. Uh, do, 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 do. Stainless by Oneida LTD Deluxe. I'm pretty, Oneida's pretty uh, new brand, I think. Maybe cool. 70s, 80s. I don't know. Can't be too old. Pretty awesome. Back to it. All right, so just a little bit of information on this schoolhouse. Uh, he said, the guy that owns it said it was somewhere in the 1830s. 40s um, he said he's dug a lot trying to find information on it but he hasn't found out too much um, but it's all this property over here and a little bit on that side and then there was a barn and an old candle shop up a ways he said that we could metal detect that if we don't find anything good here so we're gonna keep going and see what it is but it's a pretty beautiful day out I mean the temperatures are just right it's not hot and it's not cold and I'm using the gear right now. Um, I'm going to go over as much as I can. And then I'm probably going to switch over and use the Legend for a little bit. Uh, this thing is just a, a machine. I mean, it's a gear, it's gear 200, but I just find things with it. And I love it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get back to detecting. I just wanted to give you a little information on that. And we'll see you in a few minutes. So I started to fill in my plug and what? Just goes to show there was a school. If that doesn't prove there was a school here, nothing does. Wow. It's the end of a pencil, the eraser part. Not sure what this is. All right, let's see what Seth's got. Bring up the light bulb. Oh shit! Yeah. Bring up light bulb. Yep, yep. All right. That makes sense. Cool. At first, it looked like a copper fitting. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought at first, but then I seen the ridge. 
So let's get back to it. We'll throw this back in. All right, I had a fairly good signal. I flipped it, and right there is a bullet shell, which I can't really make out what it is. Super or something. But bullet shell. Cool. Let's fill in the hole and move on. All right, we got a little bit of a bouncy tone. So I'm going to see if I can find it. Let it beep. See if I can do this. All right, I gotta do some digging, and we'll see if we can find it. Well, since the quick camera wasn't cooperating, I got it out of the hole. It's got some kind of design on it. Can't really make it out. I'm gonna have to clean it up with a brush. So that's super cool. So let's fill in the hole and move on. And plop out of the hole, I found this. It's interesting. Huh. What do you think that is? Looks like maybe it went to a can. And, or, yeah, I, I don't know. It's neat. It looks like a key to a, like a can of food, you know, to twist the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty neat. neat. Finding some pretty neat stuff. The hunt is on. Woo! just found this in the hole I don't know what it is yet I haven't looked I took it out and put it in my hand and started walking towards you I'm completely excited it looks like a quarter but yep it's a quarter <laughs> but it could be you know I don't know it could be silver if it's 464 That hole is just going crazy over there. Where? Right, right behind the building. Like right in the corner where the yeah. hole is? Yeah. I dug in there quite a bit, that's where I fell. No, I'm before that a little bit, right directly behind the building. Two pennies. Well, that's cool, guys. I'm going to go back there and check out the rest of that hole. All right, well, I just pulled another quarter out of the hole. This one's 1970 something. But I haven't, wanted, I haven't cleaned it up too much yet. So there was 50 cents in that hole. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find. It's been a pretty good day. All right. Let's scan back over it. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was it. All right, we're moving on. See the head of the penny. Yep. 
the heck that say? It looks weird. One cent. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's still going. We're finding them fully. So I put the dirt out of the hole. We got a coin here. Something old. Mm. Don't scratch it too much. Just spit them. Well, it's like a. I don't know. Clean the back off. But that is old. Maybe 1800s. So it looks like. Yeah, the face is facing the opposite direction. I don't want to scratch it. No, I would put some water on it, kind of poke a hole in the bottle of water, a little hole and s Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're going to walk over here and do that. All right, guys, so we can't really make out what it is yet. But it's super cool and old, so we're going to go find some more. We shall return. So we got something in here. What is it? Lead. It was lead. I have no idea. It was red at one point. Well, all right, just found this little, looks like it was a, a pin or some sort, had a stone or something in it. I don't know if I'm going to find that. Nope. I was waiting here. I brushed the leaves off and then I saw it. No, I ain't gonna find it, but that's pretty neat. Cool. I'm gonna keep hunting, finding all kinds of good stuff. Well, I think I found what looks like a bracelet that's broke. I'm gonna have to check that out better. That's pretty cool. I'm finding all kinds of stuff today. This is so much fun. It's very fragile. I'm gonna walk over and show Seth. And then we'll keep digging. Wow. All right, so we're all done at the schoolhouse. These are our finds, a bunch of pull tabs and some weird stuff. Look at the ants all over that. How weird is that? No, it's just that one item. Maybe you got ants in your pants now? Oh, but it helped. It's weird how they're on just that piece. It must have been when it was buried. Strange. But anyways, I found a 1936 Mercury dime. I think it's a 1965 quarter. I think this one was a 1970 something. I can't make it out. I haven't really been able to make that out yet. Figure out what that is. Um, it looks old. I'm gonna have to get it under the microscope and then I'll let you know at the end of this video. Found this little pin. Looks like it had stones in it at one time. And there's actually still a stone in it. Oh, on, nice. on the corner. Nice. So you can clean it up soon as this. Yep. Um, but yeah, we had a pretty good day today. Seth found an axe head, which is pretty cool. He found all the good stuff I found in the junk. Found a few pennies. His uh Ming Dynasty gold spoon. <laughs> uh, that key's pretty cool though. Yes. Yeah, right uh, craftsman. 
What's that, lead? I'm not sure. Tire, it looks like a tire, tire weight. weight. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's a... But cool. It was deep. So we might go somewhere else. I don't know what's up yet. We're probably going to go down and show the, ho the landowner what we found. If they want to keep it, then they can keep it. I hope they don't because I really want to take it home and look it up and stuff. But Yeah, especially that copper. It's going to be neat. But yeah. So we'll see you in a little bit. If not, keep on naturing. Have a good day.